So here we go, ladies and gentlemen, our final contest of this compact evening. Please join me in welcoming in from Lithuania, Ramajias Sayus. Sterling in the camo shorts against Rodriguez. Rodriguez, six three-minute rounds at light heavyweight. And you'll hear the snap on these shots of Sterling. to get through the guard of Zagusis. His right hand to the body. Oh, I like that shot. He looks really relaxed in there. He's taking his time. He's picking every single shot he throws. It's a sharp and explosive. Economical with his movement too. Doesn't rush his work. Not a great deal of upper body movement, but it's kind of level. He doesn't need to. 
this stage, overexert himself, just sit down and pick his shots. Yeah, it looks like he's going to push his opponent into a box where he doesn't want to come out of it, and it's going to be even harder to look good against him. I would have just stuck with the jab for now until my opponent starts getting active. So much easier to land that crucial shot when your opponent thinks he's going to hit you. There it was, Aguse is through the left hook and that left swirling open to throw. The nice counter now has got Aguse on the ropes, just in a bit of trouble. Still that left hook to the body. Nice left hook right hand from Sterling, one of his hallmark shots. Yeah, I'd like Sterling to start going to the body now. As you can see, his elbows are up a bit high now. They're sticking all the way out. That body's a big, big target for him. Oh, he, he, he tried going for it there. Right on cue. Right, send something upstairs. A few light punches upstairs and then drop down to the body. And, and I think it's night-night. Is just uh, takes a rare couple of forward steps behind the jab, doesn't land anything of note though. Sterling again just crashing in. These powerful combination punches. No matter how high and tight that guard is, and the kind of power of force they're throwing, if you're standing there taking them, some of those shots will get through and you'll feel them even through the gloves. Yeah, his head's definitely starting to redden over there in the corner. Sterling just takes his time a little bit more in this next round and settle into it, get close. His opponent's not really throwing much back at him, take his time, throw a few feints, bring his hands up, go to the body, faint to the body, go to the head. He, he can really have fun in there. He just takes his time and, and sets up his shots. He's not the tallest at light heavyweight. He's 5 foot 10, but he's solidly built. Yeah. Explosive and compact, but... He's taking packs, got longer arms than I think you give, give him credit for. Yeah, he looks very strong. And he extends through all of those shots as well. Yeah. Round two. It's surprising the way he boxes that he hasn't had more stoppages, or hasn't had any stoppages thus far. Perhaps more reflection of the type of opponent that he's been matched with. He's more than capable of stopping anybody out there at light heavyweight the kind of explosiveness and speed and accuracy that he has from Sterling. It's getting a bit wild, trying to step off and try and pick those shots. That definitely sent the buzz through the years. Zagusis smiles and shakes his head, but certainly he's feeling the effect of these. Left hook, triple that from Sterling. Body, head, body. Really nice, strong technical performance. covering up but the cumulative effect of these will surely begin to take their toll the head starting to redden 
of the man in the black shorts is Sterling unloading to body and head remarkable toughness through these first couple of rounds Just call it defensive cuteness. Yes, the guard is high and tight. He's still taking a lot of these on the forearms. A lot of these are getting through. Oh, a shot to the body there. It's good boxing from Andre Sterling. You'd never think he was a light heavyweight where he's just controlling his body out there and he's moving and he's jabbing. Combination, the range of punches. Looking really good. Physically as well, pretty big, isn't he? Across the shoulders and the chest and big set. He's, he's no Anthony Yard, but I think that's probably the exception to the rule in terms of the light heavyweight. It's absolutely bizarre that he is able to get under the, uh, the 80 kilo limit. Yeah. Um, Certainly that solid amateur pedigree, the skills that he crafted through the ABAs and some of the tournaments he competed in in the last five or six years have stood him in really, really good stead. And I think he's largely gone under the radar as far as the professional game's concerned. He's sort of turned over quietly and slowly starting to make an indent. And, uh, it's going to take something like a much higher level than this for him to taste defeat. And he looks really, really solid. somebody that you want to try and bang with, that's for sure. Sterling now getting comfortable, just opening up, letting those hands go. Zagusis beginning to feel the pace, on the move still. The legs becoming more static and he's unable to counter with that left hook he's thrown it a couple of times in the last round or so but he's missed by a long way when he has done short with the jab again now Sterling back to his own pushing Zagusis back to the ropes that's where he wants him trying to unload with those big body shots there's the left hook oh. lovely counter right now from Sterling beautiful pause before he threw it Alexi Gusis stepped forward, crashed it over the top and sunk his opponent to his knees. He let him walk right onto it. See the best shot, the second he started trying to throw punches back, it's the second he got opened up. Alexi Gusis now in big, big trouble as Sterling begins to unload, looking for the shot to finish the show here at York Hall. I think a big flurry here fin finishes it, yes ready to jump in. The goose is hanging on his knee, throws the jab out, keeping those hands up. The legs look to be okay, but surely one more clean shot. By the ferocity that it was thrown with, that was a perfectly timed counter right hand, and I think shot of the night. And we certainly go to Andre Sterling, we're right down the business end of the proceedings here at your court. Oh, beautiful shot. Sigus is beginning to wilt, takes a deep breath in. He's being really, really brave in there. Doesn't want to fold unnecessarily, but he is taking some heavy, heavy leather from Andre Sterling. Andre Sterling is not, not losing nothing. Double jab, right hand. Surely the referee's going to have a look at it. throws the left hook back again, well short. On. The writing on the wall for Zagusis, and the referee says no more. The right decision, and emphatically, Andre Sterling notches up his first stoppage, long overdue for the big puncher from the Peacock Gym. It, it maybe could have got stopped a little later, but there's no need in it. He, he was taking such a beating. And, um...
But we know from your previous yeah. fights that you you carry real power. Yeah, yeah, I do, I do, you know, I do. But you know, I don't sweat the technique, you know. I see what's open for the shot, and yeah, I just set him up for it, maneuver myself, and made him throw it, and come back with a good counter, you know. I never look for the knockout. I just let it come naturally. I just let it flow, you know. As we do, hustle and flow, and I'm happy with the stoppage victory. You, uh, you had him rocking on his feet from round one. I think it was even a jab and he was uh, back on his feet. Yeah, that's what we do, man. Thanks to my trainers, you know, Ian Andrews, you know, Brian Lawrence, man, they're teaching me properly. Keep looking after me, you know. And I want to shout out to all my supporters, all my people that come and supported me today from South London, you know. So, yeah, Reggae Z Z Zima Records, you know, and that. So, yeah, I'm good, man. I'm happy to that. So, more knockouts on the, on the horizon? Oh, 100%, man. You know what I'm saying? You get me, man. Get them coffins ready, you know. <laughs> so <laughs> we're going to keep on roll, keeping the ball rolling, man. You know. Thanks. Yeah, again soon. Um, yeah, hopefully before Christmas. You know, I was going to keep up the momentum, man. You know, no rest for the wicked. So we've got to keep on moving forward, man. Well, you showed a, you showed a wicked streak in there, Mean Street. You didn't let him off the hook. Congratulations. No, no I didn't, man. I was saying he just came for a check, man. I've been training ten weeks for this, man. There was no way he was leaving that ring <laughs> without getting stopped or knocked out. You know, the ref done the right thing. You know, so, yeah, I'm happy with that. Coaches, were you happy too? Yeah, yeah, we were very pleased with that. We're training hard, and it's been hard to get him on shows. As you see, he's a good fighter, you know, and we're going all the way. So all the light heavies, yeah, beware. Out. Yeah, beware. Look all, out. All, all Bawatsi and all them <laughs> Olympians and all that, yeah. we don't care. <laughs> beware. We're coming. We're coming. Well, there you go. There's a message yeah. for you. To the light heavyweight division, Andre Sterling's coming. Thank you. Nice one. Go back away, dude. Thank you.